what up everybody it's your boy energetic kicks back with you with another video and i got another shoe to do a review to show you guys today all right now if you are new to this channel please smash that subscribe button also click on that notification bell so whenever i drop any heat or any content you'll be notified as soon as possible all right now without further ado let's just get this intro out of the way and we'll proceed to the video Please, if you love these content, smash that subscribe button. Also, click on that notification bell so whenever I drop any heat or any content, you'll be notified as soon as possible. All right, now, I have a shoe that I picked up at Nike.com for, don't tell nobody, a hundred bucks. All right, cheap, a hundred dollars. Now, label reads, Air Jordan 14 Retro SE, now the colorway is black, black, and retail on these joints was $200. The size is size 10 and a half. Of course, it's personal pair, all right? Now, whenever you see this box, you already know. I think I have like three, four, five, six, or even eight boxes of these. But you know, the Michigan 5 came in this box, or the Reflect of the Champion, the 6, the 8, the 7 came also on this box, all right? And also, I believe, another shoe, which one was it? The Air Jordan 8 also came on this on this box, all right? So, now, let me um, get this shoe out of the box and show you what this shoe is. Now, your boy do not love Retro 14s, all right? I do not like 14s, but when I saw this at Nike.com for a steal, 50% off, so I'm, I'm like, man, I gotta pull the plug because it's $100. I don't have anything to lose right now. If I want to sell this shoe right now, I will make a cool 40 bucks out of it. You know, profit. But hey, I'm going to keep holding on these joints right here. All right. Now, this is the Air Jordan 14 SE. Now, the outsole right here, you got that black and red with a black jump man right there. And the side panel right here, you got like a clock right here. Fire shoe, man, by your boys. I, I don't like Edge Autumn 14. They look weird on my feet, so I'm not gonna rock these, all right? And we got that microfiber right teeth right here. Nothing too crazy, same microfiber right here on this side, all right? And then when you flip it around, you get that jump man with 23, a weird big ass 23 at the back right there. Nothing too crazy. Now when you flip it around over here on this side, you get that Ferrari stamp right there with a jump man. And this side is black. Now, I wish they could have put like an infrared or like those reflective on these uh, on the inside. I think that would have made the shoe pop. But this is what we got, man. It's a fire shoe by your boy. It's not going to rock these, but I do not like Edge on 14. They look weird on my feet. And the uh, also, where is it? Right here. Also give you that Roman number 14 right here. Also, when you flip the tongue, it also give you the same 14 right there. If you guys could see and like always i'll give you guys a closer look so y'all could have an idea it did not have any extra laces or anything like that all right this is a left shoe and it's pretty much the same thing not too much to talk about it's just two colorway black and red which the red is not a lot in there so this is the shoe right here man edge on 14 like i said it's not my favorite so yeah, I believe this is the, the last Jordan 2 that Michael Jordan wore before he retired. This is the one he played, I believe, his last game in, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, it's nothing too crazy. This is the joint right here. And like always, I'm going to give you guys a closer look. So let me know what you think about it when you see the closer look. All right. right. It's your boy, Energetic Kicks. And as I promised you guys with a closer look, I am here with it right now. So let's get into it. All right. Now, this is the box that we got with the Air Jordan 14 Retro SE. Now, the box is familiar. Remember the uh, Michigan 5, all the reflect of a champion joint that dropped last year. The 6s, the 7, and the 8 all came in this box. Also, the Air Jordan 8, the one that I did a review on a couple of days ago, also came with this box. All right. Now, this is what we got. Label reads Air Jordan 14 Retro SE. The colorway is black, black, and the size is size 10 and a half personal pair. And retail on these drones was $200. But like I told you guys, Nike had a sale all 
they had a discount going on, so I was able to get this half off. I was able to get this for $100, all right? Now, this is the joint right here. Like I told you guys, I am not a fan of 14s, and I believe this is the last shoe that Michael Jordan wear before he retired. Or this yeah, the outsole is red and black, nothing too crazy, and this give you the 14 in Roman numeral right there. We got that black jump man on the side. We have that teat right here with our microfiber. Also, that microfiber off will extend over here through this side all the way, and then they stop right there. We have that red right there, and then right here, when you flip it over, you get the same microfiber right there and a little bit red. So it's nothing too crazy, man. Now this side is, I don't know if it's like a Swedish or like, I don't know what kind of texture this is. It's like a clock fill texture right here. But yeah, man, I mean, um, I really don't like 14. So I really don't, I don't have a whole lot to talk about on these joints. I wish they had like a 3M effect on this right here. I think it would have been dope right here if they had that uh, 3M effect on these joints right here. And also you got that Jumpman logo right there. And you got that big ass 23 right there with a the Jumpman over there. Now uh, the string is nice. It still gave us that uh, uh, Jumpman right there with a, I think it's metal right here at the end. You also get that Roman numeral uh, 14 right here. That's pretty much it, man. Another Jumpman right here. It, it, to me, it, it's a nice shoe. I just don't like 14, so I really can't vulture for that. But I'm glad it was just a hundred dollars, so I was able to just cop that and just add it to the collection. You know, I mean, who knows? Couple of months from now, how much these were, uh, is going to go for? And I don't know. I may also maybe do a giveaway or something. So, like I said, if you are new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button. Also, click on that notification bell, man. So whenever I drop any heat or any content, you'll be notified as soon as possible. There's going to be a lot of giveaway on this channel, man. So if you love free shoes. Subscribe on this channel and also comment below and then after the closer look What do you guys think about these joint? Did you guys or were you guys able to cop these when they released last year? Or you are planning on buying a pair right now right now if you want to get a pair I don't know if nike.com still have the sales going on But um, if they do you will probably get this for a hundred bucks with free shipping and all that good stuff now, if they don't have the sale going on, you might probably pay maybe $130 or so, all right, with free shipping as well. So, if you want a pair right now, I'll go straight to Nike.com, or you could check on Go All Stock X and see if somebody is trying to sell some for the low, so you could grab them. Like I said, I'm not a 14 guy, like I don't like uh, Retro 14, so I might probably just keep this in a collection, or maybe in the future I'll just do a giveaway or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these joints. So y'all comment below and let me know what you guys think about this joint, all right? And as always, it's your boy Energetic Kicks, and this is the Air Jordan 14 SE, all right? It's your boy Energetic Kicks. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys on the next video.